Hi, David Weck here. In this video, I'm going to teach you an exercise to help you run with the Weck Method Wing Pulse. Now, if you're not familiar with the Wing Pulse, it's a new strategy for running that involves pulsing the arms, not swinging them. Here's a brief demonstration. Conventional running, I will swing and counterbalance the action of my body, my legs, with my arms. With Weck Method and this pulsing paradigm, what we want to do is we want to create this pulsing force, arms are on the front side, so we're not swinging them per se, but what we're doing is we're creating a, a pulsing force for propulsion. You run faster, it's more efficiently, it's less wear and tear on your body, you're on the ground less time, you're faster to the finish, and it's a lot more joy to run with the wing pulse. Wing pulse is for anything faster than walking, anything slower than sprinting. For sprinting, we have the double down pulse. Now. The hard part is learning how to run with it. Once you learn it, the easy part is running with it. So this exercise is a fantastic way to start building your skill and your body's strength of connective tissue that will get you running faster, more efficiently than ever before. So here's what you do. You tie in an elastic band and you use a very light elastic band and you're gonna tie it in elbow height. So you're tied in on the elbow height. Now this is important, the setup. You're gonna grab from underhand and you're gonna figure out what distance makes the most sense for you. And you're gonna wrap the band under the forearm and around the elbow so that it would look like this and that's the position that you're gonna start. So I'm here, I wrap it under and I'm here. So I'm gonna be putting tension here and tension here. I want to line up my wrist so it's just like this against that elastic resistance and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out and lunge with that tension in the arm as it's drawn to this position. I don't want to bring this, it's not a muscle force thing, it's connective tissue. You want to think in terms of the really good arm wrestlers, how they wedge their body in, it's their whole body, so that to go any further down, I'm going to have to use my whole body. So it's integrated throughout. You don't want to hurt yourself, so you go very slow. So it's here, I wrap it around. Now I'm gonna keep the line of force on the band straight like this, and I'm gonna step over three or four inches, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lunge out, and I'm going to pull with this hand and let the resistance happen here. Ideally, I want to match the angle of my spine and my shins and I just come out into lunge, feel that stretch of resistance and feel that stretch of resistance. If I do it right towards you, what you'll see is that I'm employing our WEC method head over foot strategy, which involves a side bending action. So when I do that lunge, I will keep the head in line with the foot and I'm pulling that here. My strategy is I want to keep this spot, the 10th and 11th rib, the same. So I don't want that to be rotating. What I want is I want my shoulder to come down and back with that staying the same and then my hip in that lunge coming up and forward and I'm in this position. So what does this do for us? What this does is this integrates the connective tissue so that when I step and land on this head over foot, I now know how to pulse. So the return action is not muscular. The return action is just this pulsing force that doesn't cost me any energy. I'm using gravity, the alignment of head over foot, the spiraling action of the arm, the way that it's built, and the lats and the pecs, all that coming together to just boop, send me in a pulse. All my intention is this down with the elbow, back with the wrist, that boop creates a little boop pulse that comes back. The problem is most people have this sort of muscle bound carry over from all the lifting that they've done that you can't get the you can't release the muscles and so you don't get the return. What we want is we want that boom, it's like a whipping action. And the advantage of the elastics is the elastics is gonna take you to that limit range of motion 
and it's going to start putting that tension into the limit range of motion and so it's essentially like it's springy it's giving you this springy resistance that if we were to let go of that springy resistance boop, boop, it's going to pop forward so it's really good for the nervous system and it's really good for the angle of the technique and boop, boop, it's a fast accelerant for learning how to do this I'll do the other side so here palm on the elastic. I wrap the elastic behind here and so I'm pulling with this opposite hand and I'm getting out all the slack. Now I lunge out, I put my head over my foot and I want to drop my elbow low, I want to dro think drop my shoulder down and back, raise my hip up and forward and I just take that slack out and then easy relax. You should not work this exercise to extreme uh, levels, especially at first. So it's here. Mm. And when you're doing it correctly, you'll feel the lats, the lat on that side, really engaged. Mm. So that now my body is now primed to put that pulsing action in. So what I'm doing is I want to feel that lat, that lat coming down and back the shoulder hip coming up and forward, that's the same. And then I'm putting that stretch, dropping the elbow, dropping the elbow, and that stretch, again, takes me to that limit range of motion where there's no slack, and then you do it. Once you find it, you'll never run the same. The, the wing pulse will give you that little pop in your step. It'll feel much less effort, and like I said, you go faster and it's less wear and tear on your body. What I'd recommend is that this is a daily exercise and you just never go to soreness. It's Think of it as a stretch and just do it and then practice the other exercise techniques ultimately till you can put it together for the wing pulse.